What counts is not necessarily the size of the dog in the fight. It's the size of the fight in the dog. In preparing for battle, I have always found that plans are useless, but planning is indispensable. People that value their privileges above their principles soon lose both. Leadership is the art of getting someone else to do something you want done because he wants to do it. Your task will not be an easy one. Your enemy is well trained, well equipped and battle hardened. He will fight savagely. Never waste a minute thinking about people you don't like. Extremes to the right and to the left of any political dispute are always wrong. If you want total security, go to prison. There, you're fed, clothed, given medical care, and so on. The only thing lacking is freedom. Under the clouds of war, it is humanity hanging on a cross of iron. This world of ours must avoid becoming a community of dreadful fear and hate, and be instead a proud confederation of mutual trust and respect. The supreme quality of leadership is unquestionable integrity. Without it, no real success is possible. Never send a battalion to take a hill if a regiment is available. The problem in defense is how far you can go without destroying from within what you are trying to defend from without. Get it all on record now. Get the films. Get the witnesses. Because somewhere down the road of history, some bastard will get up and say, this never happened. Never let yourself be persuaded that any one great man, any one leader is necessary to the salvation of America. When America consists of one leader and 158 million followers, it will no longer be America. A sense of humor is part of the art of leadership, of getting along with people, of getting things done. May we never confuse honest dissent with disloyal subversion. You do not lead by hitting people over the head. That's assault, not leadership. Pessimism never won any battle. I have full confidence in your courage and devotion to duty and skill in battle. We will accept nothing less than full victory. We cannot mortgage the material assets of our grandchildren without risking the loss also of their political and spiritual heritage. We want democracy to survive for all generations to come, not to become the insolvent phantom of tomorrow. I hate war as only a soldier who has lived it can only as one who has seen its brutality, its futility, its stupidity. The clearest way to show what the rule of law means to us in everyday life is to recall what has happened when there is no rule of law. There is no glory in battle worth the blood it costs. When you put on a uniform, there are certain inhibitions that you accept. Only Americans can hurt America. Neither a wise man nor a brave man lies down on the tracks of history to wait for the train of the future to run over him. We are going to have peace even if we have to fight for it. 
Motivation is the art of getting people to do what you want them to do because they want to do it. No man is worth your tears, but once you find one that is, he won't make you cry. Don't join the book burners. Don't think you're going to conceal faults by concealing evidence that never existed. Don't be afraid to go in your library and read every book. Never question another man's motive. His wisdom, yes, but not his motives. Farming looks mighty easy when your plow is a pencil and you're a thousand miles from the cornfield. Pull the string and it will follow wherever you wish. Push it and it will go nowhere at all. The history of free men is never written by chance, but by choice, their choice. Only strength can cooperate, weakness can only beg. The search for a scapegoat is the easiest of all hunting expeditions. I despise people who go to the gutter on either the right or the left and hurl rocks at those in the center. An intellectual is a man who takes more words than necessary to tell more than he knows. There is no tragedy in life like the death of a child. Things never get back to the way they were. I like to believe that people in the long run are going to do more to promote peace than our governments. Indeed, I think that people want peace so much that one of these days, governments had better get out of the way and let them have it. Peace and justice are two sides of the same coin. We will bankrupt ourselves in the vain search for absolute security. If a problem cannot be solved, enlarge it. Any man who wants to be president is either an egomaniac or crazy. Though force can protect an emergency, only justice, fairness, consideration and cooperation can finally lead men to the dawn of eternal peace.